Hey guys, Keith here from Injector Rehab. Uh, today's video, we're going to be going over spotting a fake Chinese knockoff injector. Um, these fuel injectors are made in China and sold extremely cheap. Uh, a lot of times we'll have customers send them in saying, I have a problem with these injectors. I don't know what happened. They're brand new. And almost instantly you can tell that they're fake, but a lot of times they're pretty good and they have some pretty good knockoffs out there. So we're going to go over a couple different um, things to look for in the injector. A lot of times places like Amazon will use a stock image of a real injector so it's kind of hard to tell but if you get them in your hands you can usually tell by some of the things that we'll go over. Um, we're also going to show you what they look like flowing on a flow bench and see how bad they are. Um, it's not something you want to risk your you know, expensive engine with buying a cheap set of injectors because you found a set of, you know, whatever it is, eight injectors for your LS motor for 50 bucks for a set of eight of them. I can almost guarantee you they're fake Chinese knockoffs and you're going to end up regretting the, uh, the decision to buy or use those injectors. So uh, we'll get into showing you some of the differences here. Okay, so in this video here, we have two fake injectors and one real one. This one real one, I'm not exactly sure why, but there are some injectors that come in that do have this band that goes around it, and there is a spot for this band. Um, it's rare that a real one comes in that does have that. Um, most of the time, it's the knockoffs that have some sort of a band in there which is usually one of the giveaways. Again, not always 100% the case, but that is something that you can easily spot and maybe question, start looking a little bit closer at the injector when you do see that that band exists on the injector. Um, another thing to note is inside of this metal window right here, you can see metal inside of there. And there's two indentations that you can you can see and that is part of the process of assembling these injectors in the factory that is a real thing a lot of knockoffs will not have that so you can see in this uh, in this injector here there's nothing in there some of them have that in there like this one does does have those two little marks on there and usually they're not the same. I mean, if you don't look at it every day, you don't, you can't tell the difference between them. But some of them times are really good, and sometimes they're obvious that it's just a mark because they know that it's supposed to be there. Um, another thing to note is they're really good at making it look like it's a fake. So part of the process is putting the actual numbers in the uh, in the mold of the plastic of the injectors. However. A lot of times they're on the wrong side of the injector. Like for instance, we have these two injectors right here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit better for you here. The uh, the actual number is printed inside of here. It's printed inside of here and there's a blank on this spot here. This one here has the part number and there is all the same markings on it. However, if you go into this injector, there's none. It's a blank spot. The part number is not inside there. The boxes aren't the same on that one. Uh, if you flip it over, it has the part number in there, the markings, just like the original has. Again, remember this one here without the band is the original. Uh, another thing to note, which is a little bit more difficult when the injector it comes to you, because it will probably have a pencil cap on it, like this one here. But if you were to remove those on the real injector, it has this tiny cap that is what regulates the flow on these here. There's tiny little micro welds that go around the, the edge of the injector, and it has the little holes inside, inside here on a fake one 
it still has the tiny holes however I'm not sure if you can see that in there but it, it's the cap does not go over top it's around the top of it here not going over and folding over if you can see the difference between these two edges here this is piece of the cap the cap doesn't exist on on this one here again usually it's covered up by a cap so it's a little bit harder to tell when you're just looking down at the cap you can see oh yeah it has four holes oh yeah it has four holes and these are uh, covered up through the, the uh, through the cap um, if you were to pull the filters out of them on an original injector there's no step inside of that if you can see however you look inside of a fake one here you can see slightly down in there there's a little ledge but not all fake injectors have that ledge because this injector here came from a customer that in their same batch see again it has this um, you know red band to it this red band you flip the injector over and look inside there's no ledge inside of there this one's a little bit out of round from pulling the uh, filter out that happens from time to time but um, yeah that's you know a, a, an injector that came together both fake one has the ledge and the other one does not have the ledge so that's not always a telltale sign but it's something you can look for the uh, actual weight of the injectors is another thing you can uh, you can tell the difference in you know in weight here so to recap it look inside this little plastic uh, window here to the metal look for those two little indentations um, the band is a giveaway the micro weld cap that's on the bottom of it is a giveaway and then inside where the filter is is another giveaway Again, some of this you have to almost destroy the injector to find out, but if you're having an issue and uh, you need to you know, figure it out, that is a good quick way to, um, to test it and take a look and see. The biggest um, problem with them is the flow, uh, the flow ratings on them. Um, we're going to go show you some videos here of it, but you know, over the years, these things have been around for a while. I mean, we've been seeing them come through for at least a decade now, and they have gotten better with the coil windings being at least within spec of each other uh, they used to be kind of all over the place that piece of it has gotten better over years of, on the knockoffs but yeah you got to see the videos flowing um, this will show you why you're having such an issue with them all right so the injectors on this side right here are the known oem rx8 injectors these over here are some that came in that the customer believed were real, but they were an Amazon style um, or eBay or something else knockoff. Too good to be true price, something like, you know, 80 bucks for the set or something like that. Um, so here we're gonna flow them with, um, the initial test is gonna be putting them through at 10 bar pressure just to check for leaks. So these injectors have both been cleaned already so they should be flowing perfectly fine. So under 10 bar pressure, you can see this one's not holding pressure. There's a noticeable difference on the spray pattern on the real ones versus the fake ones. And you can see these are kind of all over the place where the uh, reels are dead flat. All right, so now this video here is going to show this is another set of four uh, knockoff injectors for the RX-8. And this is that set from the last video here. Um, the original ones that we had are pulled out. But again, we're going to put them under pressure. So we got leaking over here. Yeah, this one's dripping. Now you can see a real noticeable spray pattern difference. Look, it's like a V-shaped. This one, I don't even know where the heck that one's shooting off to. 
they're all all different from each other supposed to be the same injectors so now these are closer to what the actual flow is supposed to be but as you can see I mean you got a, a big discrepancy there these are in the same batch from that other set So hopefully that video helped you uh, understand what to look for and helped save you some time, money, and some headache. So good luck.